Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Today I'm going to show you everything that has to do with the dashboard. Everything from the idiot lights as I like to call them, uh, setting the clock and more. And this is all specific for a 2015 to 2022 Vespa GTS, pretty much any of the models with the exception of the SuperTech and the GTV. And it also applies to all the Primaveras and Sprints, uh, with the exception of the sport ones that have a color screen. So let's get right to it. I'll start with the basic operations and then go into some of the lights and how they work. So first of all, on the right hand side, whether it's a Primavera or the GTS, you're gonna find this mode switch. And that's for setting the clock, uh, cycling through the two trip odometers and the odometer. So that's the only button you need to know about. We can go ahead and turn the ignition on and see what happens here. So the obvious one, you know what the speed is. Uh, here in the United States, uh, for several years, the outer scale has been miles per hour and the inner scale is the kilometers per hour. And typically these speedometers are fairly optimistic, as I like to say. So at the higher speeds, you can count on uh, a reading that's about five miles an hour off. So if it's indicating 70 miles an hour, you're probably going more like 65 miles an hour. Uh, similar with the Primavera and Sprint. They're actually very, very similar dashboards. The GTS does have a couple extra functions that I'll talk about. Uh, let's get right into the idiot lights because that's what a lot of questions that come through service They wonder why is there an ABS light flashing? So the ABS system is anti-lock braking system uh, The GTS has both front and rear ABS system and the Primavera and Sprint they have a only a front wheel ABS system and the light operates differently between the Primavera and Sprint so on the GTS and the Sprint Primavera Scooter's not started and you power it up, you're going to see the ABS light flashing, and that's normal. Uh, right when you start riding off, the ABS light will extinguish normally. If there's a fault with the ABS system, where your brakes will still work normally, but the ABS system will not prevent wheel lockup, essentially what it does, if the light is solid. So anytime you see the light solid, it means there's a fault with the ABS system, and you shouldn't rely on the ABS system to prevent wheel lockup. The odd behavior that's found on the Primavera and Sprint, and it's always been this way, is every time you come to a stop, the ABS light will flash, and that's normal. It's just indicating that ABS isn't operational at the lower speeds. So moving on to the indicator here on the right side. It looks like a big V8 engine block, typically referred to a service engine soon light or a check engine light. Uh, when you turn the scooter on without starting it, the light's going to be on. The moment you start the scooter, the light should extinguish. And all that does is it tells you there's a fault with the fuel injection system. And there's several sensors and readings that the computer calculates your, the optimal fueling for the, the scooter. And if there's a fault with it, that light will come on. And typically, the light, even if it's on while you're operating the scooter, uh, if you don't have any rideability issues, like it doesn't hesitate or anything, it's probably safe to ride home. But you do want to not ignore that light. You probably want to get it checked out by a dealership or I'll have some future videos and even past videos on how to check for codes on these scooters. You do need some special tools to do that. Moving on to the indicators back on the left side. You got the one that looks like an old school, like oil, you know, oiler, I don't know what you call those things. Um, that's your oil pressure light. You never want to rely on that light to tell you when it's time to add oil. Uh, once you start the scooter, both the oil light and the check engine light should both extinguish. The oil light especially. If the engine's operated and the oil light's on or flickering, your oil level is severely low or there's an issue with the engine. You want to stop the motor immediately before you uh, have any more damage. Oftentimes if you're riding at highway speed and that oil light comes on from low oil, the damage is already done. It just tells you that builds up oil pressure. I'll start the scooter and you'll see that both the oil light and the check engine light extinguish. I got to ride it forward. I don't know. It's about 15, 20 feet to extinguish the ABS light, but I'm not going to do that. So pull a brake. We'll go ahead and start it. 
And you see both lights extinguished, and that's normal operation. And I'll turn the engine off. You'll see the oil light come back on, uh, just indicating that the engine's not operating, so it's no longer building oil pressure. Check engine light will stay off until you cycle the ignition. The little sweep on the speedometer is just a little self-test for the speedometer. That's all that is. Moving on to the other indicator that you can't quite see. I'll go ahead and start the scooter, turn the headlight on. Primavera's, that's your high beam indicator. So when you toggle the high beam, low beam switch, uh, that stays on. One other little tip is if you turn the ignition off with the ignition kill switch, the headlight will still stay on. So uh, not likely to drain the battery with the new modern LED headlights, but it's useful. You could pull up to your garage, maybe you need a little bit of light. Go ahead and shut the motor off with the kill switch and you'll still have the light on for a little while there until you turn the key switch off. Moving on to the right side, there's two more indicators right here. You got your turn signal. Unfortunately, it indicates both the left and the right. Uh, push to cancel, so you just got to glance down if you have your turn signal indicators on. Uh, just gives you a visual indication. There's no audible indication on the Vespa scooters. Moving on to the little LCD screen in here. It has a couple basic functions. Of course, the most important one is the top indication, which is your fuel level. There's seven individual bars that ind indicate approximate fuel. So pretty much when about half the bars are on, you have about a half tank. Uh, when you're all the way down to the lowest setting, you're gonna have another light that I can't really make turn on. That looks like a fuel pump. It's gonna be amber. That tells you you're on your reserve fuel. And you have more or less, I would say about a half gallon, two liters of fuel, sometimes more than that. So if you're getting 60 miles per gallon, you can 70 miles a gallon, you can count on getting 30, 40, maybe with a Primavera, another 50 miles of reserve capacity. Of course, you don't want to run your scooter out, but you do have that reserve capacity if that light's on, so you don't need to pull over right away. Moving down to the next indicator right there is your total miles. So when it says total miles right there, that's your odometer. And to cycle through your trip odometers, you push the mode switch once, and twice, this is a new scooter, it's already been reset. But the reset the trip odometers back to zero, say you wanna log how many miles you get for your tank full or on your trip, just go ahead and hold the mode button until the trip odometer resets. And that works independently both on trip A and the trip odometer B. Go back to the total miles. When you're on the total miles indication, right below the odometer is your clock. It's just a standard 12 hour clock, real easy to set. Uh, ironically, we just had the time change, so it's actually wrong right here. Um, to put it in the set mode. You can't be operating this while the scooter's rolling or riding, and I suggest having the engine off. Go ahead and hold the mode button when it's in the total mile mode, so odometer mode. So just hold the button, the mode button there. And first you're gonna be on the hour. So we'll check out the clock. We're right at six, looks like 6.56. And it does reset after a few seconds. So we'll try again, hold the button. So on hours, do six, we got the hours correct. Now go ahead and hold the button again. And we'll go ahead and advance the minutes to 56. And you can either let it time out by not touching anything and we'll set the clock, or you can hold the mode button and we'll set the clock as well if you want to do a little quicker. On the Vespa GTS models, they do have a traction control system which uh, minimizes or prevents wheel slip when you're on the throttle on slippery surface such as a rainy day or cobblestones or um, hitting an oil slick or whatever. Uh, that's indicated by that ASR light right there or the indicator that's in the screen. And just like the ABS system, it's gonna be flashing until you ride off. And ASR system is active when the light is not on or the indicator is not on. And of course you could turn the ASR off with the switch that's on there. And the ASR system, the traction control system is off when the indicator's on. It sounds the opposite, but it's just indicating that it's not active. 
Um, the later ones, you know, on the BVs, they, they've added some extra indication to tell you it's off, and obviously the, the, some of the bigger screens, they're, they're doing that, but I'm specifically talking about this style. So that's pretty much all the basic functions of the 2015-2022 Vespa GTS and pretty much all the Sprints and Primaveras, the instrumentation and how it works. And if you have the Super or Sport model, it may have a red backlight. Uh, that's the only other little difference. The clock isn't powered by a watch battery, it's powered by the main battery. So if you pull the battery out, you may lose your clock setting, you may need to go in there and set it. And let me show you the last light. That's kind of a mystery to a lot of people. So when you turn the scooter off, the ignition off, you have a little indicator. It's not gonna show up red. Give it a couple seconds. It flashes every once. That's a security indicator. That's part of the immobilizer system. The Vespa keys are coded with a chip. Uh, this applies to the 150s and 300s. Doesn't apply to the 50cc models of the Vespa GTS or I mean, the Primaveras and Sprints. And there's a chip located in the key. Uh, on the master key, you're able to actually pull the chip out. The standard keys that you use with the scooter, the chip's embedded into the key. And I'll show you all the different indications that this is. It has some uh, air checking capability right here. So when the ignition's off, it should be flashing. After a couple days, it will quit flashing to save the battery. When the immobilizer system's operating normally, the moment you turn the key on, it should only flash once. So one flash indicates it read the, um, the key, no problem. The two quick flashes after indicate that you're using your master key. So let's just show you that again. So you turn the key on, you can see two quick flashes indicating you're using the master key. So one flash indicates you're gonna start the scooter, two quick flashes indicates the master key is in there. If you use the standard key, it's just gonna do the one flash. So there's a slower flash code that indicates two different faults that could be with your immobilizer system. So you can actually test the immobilizer system with your master key. So if you flip this chip out, uh, the antenna that's built in a scooter can no longer detect the chip and it's gonna disable the starting. So I'm gonna show you how that works or if there's a fault. So we're gonna turn the key on you get the one flash, two flashes indicates that the antenna is working but did not detect the right key or did not t detect a key, and then the immobilizer light stays solid. And I try to start the scooter, it's not going to start. So on both all, all the modern Vespas, they're not going to crank over when the light is solid. So look for that. If you're wondering why your scooter's not starting uh, and you've already checked your kill switch and you know your brake light's coming on, and then you pretty much know there's a fault with the immobilizer system. If it does one blink and then three blinks, it means there's an issue communicating to the antenna. So that's something you just gotta, you're not gonna be able to troubleshoot on your own. You're probably gonna need to replace the antenna or troubleshoot why the antenna can't communicate to the key. So it pretty much has radio uh, frequencies to talk to the key. Uh, pretty reliable systems, but that's, the basic little faults that you can uh, troubleshoot on your own. So that's nearly everything I can tell you about the dashboard or the instruments on this era of Vespa. Uh, two other things, the immobilizer light, once the scooter started, if that light comes on solid while riding, that means your engine temperature is too high. Uh, the earlier model GTSs did have a proper gauge and the new 2023 model does have a gauge that indicates your water temperature. On the Primaveras and Sprints, the engine temperature is actually indicated by the check engine light. So if the engine is overheating, you'll end up with a check engine light on. And there's only one reason it could be overheating. It's to use it on a very, very hot day or the fan, the cooling fan has some issues. So one more indicator that's never been used on the GTS and will remain a mystery is right next to ABS indicator is an A with a circle around it. And that symbol on a car is like auto start. It's something they never implemented on the Vespas here. Uh, pretty much you come to a stop and the motor shuts down. It probably indicates that the scooter is ready to start the motor right when you roll on the throttle. And it's not something that was ever used here. So you can just ignore that indicator.
So the odometer on these scooters is in miles. You can also change it to kilometers, even though your speedometer scale doesn't really change. To change the miles to kilometers, you make sure it's in odometer mode. We'll go ahead and turn the key off, hold the mode button, turn the key on, one, two, three, and it goes to kilometers. So to go to miles, go ahead and do the same steps. Hold the mode button, turn the ignition on, one, two, three, and it goes right to miles. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope that answers all your questions you could ever ask about the instruments on your Vespa from this specific era. Until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. If you're looking for parts and accessories for your Vespa scooter, you've come to the right place. Check us out on the web, ScooterWest.com.